Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Um, before I start, you remember these guys? There's one of them. Um, I have, oh, here are, uh, there's one, and here's another. So these guys get crazy when you feed them raw meat. So I give them pieces of chicken and they go crazy. They, make, they start making this growling noise. So back to my video today. So before I start, if you can, um, I'm, I was in the village last week and I made this short video. If you have any suggestions as to how I can resolve this issue, please comment. So folks, this is part of um, what we experience in this part of the world, I'm in the village. Okay. And um, I put this solar system in the first time in 2014 and this upgrade was done about two years ago. The last time they had electric electricity was in January of 2021. So since January of 2021, they've not had power. Everyone comes here to charge their phone. So you can imagine. So guess what? Um, when you watch this video, I wanted to share an idea of a charge station. I'm going to build a charge station to allow for people to charge multiple devices. As you can see right now, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and this young man with the guns, 18th device. So we need to make provision for them to be able to come and charge their phones. We'll do it for free, we're not going to charge them. So if you can think of something that I can do that can benefit them, please post it in the comment section below. Thank you. A couple of suggestions that I got from someone and I'll post a picture for you to see. So I'm going to show you a quirk and something I like about the mid box. So we've been installing the system, we installed a couple of these systems and we also installed changeovers with them. The reason we install changeovers is if something goes wrong with the inverter, um, we can bypass the inverter and um, let the grid or generator go directly into the home. So we've done that all through. We do it for our Victrons. Victron actually suggested we do it. We do it for our day year. And, um, our first experience was where the customer's power went out and all the loads that were attached to that uh, to the inverter would not come on even though you had the grid and you had the generator. Now we had to um, rush someone to the customer location and that individual went uh, to get the issue resolved. What they did was they just connected, um, they bypassed the inverter manually and then when we fixed, we had to come back again, uh, fix it and then go back to the way it was done. And it was just too cumbersome. And it was just too many things that could possibly go wrong. So on one of the seminars or one of the training sessions we had with Victron, Victron suggested that we install separate changeovers. So what a separate changeover does is this. It, um, you can bypass the inverter and let the grid go straight into the house. So that's what that does. So this is our, um, what do you call it? This is our mid box. And if you look here, these are the diagrams. I never really quite understood what all this, do all this did until I spoke to my folks at, um, at um, Solar X. So you see these two items? They're contactors. These are, it's a contactor on the inverter side and contactor on the grid side and I'll explain to you what that contactor does. So, as you can see from the diagrams, and I'll show you here, um, we were supposed to have an RCD. That's what this used to be, an RCD, but we replaced it with a current limiter. So if you look at our diagram here, let me see if I can show it to you. Um, here is your RCD. And then here is your grid inverter breaker. That's this one. And then here's your grid breaker. So this turns output from the inverter into the load if you have the grid on. And then this turn, this is just for the grid itself. So remember we do AC input and AC output breakers. So that's what those are. Um, so additional items you see is you have um, your PV input and I'll show you that. I'll open it and show you that. And then you have your off grid and grid connections to the inverter. And then you have your CT, you have your load, which is our output, and then you have your ba battery. So let me open it and I'll show you, and I'll tell you why I'm excited about this. 
So here we have our, so here's the inside of the um, mid box. So what happens is the version, the versions of this, of this inverter that are sold by Solar X. And when you install the mid box, you have to go in and tell the inverter that you have the mid box installed. So let's go in and see what's inside this mid box, starting from the left to the right. So on the left side of the mid box, right, that's the switch up there, right here. That's the switch. That switch is for that. That switch turns the PV on and the PV off. Right here are your PV inputs. So that's where your PV comes in, as you can see. PV in. These are cables goes in here, and then from here it goes into our switch. It goes into our um, master switch that turns it on and off. And then here are your off grid and your grid input. Okay, so let's go back and let's see if, if you could see the details I'm seeing. You see PV1, positive, PV1, negative, and then PV2 positive, PV2 negative. And then here is our grid. It shows you your, um, well, it's numbered, but it shows you your, let me see what, how is it numbered. It's numbered. Um, the reason why the number is so we can match the wires to the number. So they give supplies with all these wires and what match the wires to the number. And then here is your bus background. Okay, so that's your bus background. And then this is your load. This is where your load goes out. Now these are those two breakers I showed you. As you can see, um, they loop them. And here is your CT to show our input. So our CT goes from here into our grid breaker. Okay, so that's our grid, yep, our grid breaker. And then from here and here, it comes into these contactors. Um, let me tell you what, this here, sorry, I went to far. This here is our battery switch, so our battery positive and our battery, our battery positive and negative, so that's our battery breaker. This is on. And then here is our contactors, which also happens to be, you don't need to believe it, ATS, automated transfer switch. So even though you know the transfer can happen inside the inverter, which we normally have happen when the power comes on, it happens within milliseconds, here we have an extra. So let's say um, the power fails as it would normally feel, right? In here, it's supposed to automatically switch to the inverter. It does that here. Um, let's say the inverter fails, okay, and the grid is present. It will switch automatically to the grid. Let's say the inverter fails and the grid fails. When the grid returns, if the inverter is still bad, it would automatically power your loads because you transfer it to the grid. So that's something that blew my mind. I we've been installing well because you know I'm I'm not on the grid, so it's difficult for me to test some of these functions that these things have. But we did an installation and we put an automatic changeover because it's something we routinely do. And then we had a meeting with the team and I'm like, why did we do that when that already exists in here? Um, let me see if I can show you one other function I like. Um, so here is our Wi-Fi our Wi-Fi dongle, right? It goes into the box and it exits by that an antenna. You see the antenna right there? It exits by an antenna. So it allows you to keep uh, a very slim close profile when you close that. So I'm pretty psyched. Um, I knew that um, you could do a lot with this, but I didn't know how much you really could do with it. So this allows us to keep a neat, uh, clean, tidy installation. Everything is where it belongs. Everybody's happy. So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you're yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. I am 48 away from 3,000. So I'm getting closer and closer. And with your help, I'll be at 3,000. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you for watching.